How's everyone doing? Today I got an awesome mail day in and I've got two boxes right here filled with horror movies. And this is the Blu-ray and DVD subscription based boxes for the Horror Pack. And the Horror Pack again, it's a subscription based service where you can get either horror Blu-rays or horror DVDs sent to you every month. And it's a mystery to see what's in there and they have different levels and the more that you spend, like say you get a six month one or a 12 month one, it in, uh, decreases the amount you spend. So it's more value that way. Uh, but you can also just do a one month thing. Uh, but I'll go ahead and show you the movies. First up, I'll go over the Blu-rays right here. They come inside a, just a regular brown box like that and then a padded envelope inside. And this one has a discount code, which I'll show you in a second. And I'll go ahead and take out the DVD box as well. And I personally love this concept. I think it's excellent. I've actually, you know, thought of that concept before too. It's like, why aren't more subscription-based services doing it with actual movies? We've seen other products out there doing it with horror-themed items, you know, Funkos and different stuff, but not actual movies in there. So I love this concept. Uh, I'm going to try not to, all right, first off, right at the, the top, I was going to try not to look at them, but it's kind of hard to take them out like that. Saw 5. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of the Saw franchise. I think they got progressively worse as the series went along, and I think the third was the last one that was really decent, and that's a stretch. And I heard they're, you know, making another one. Of course they were. It's all about making that money. Uh, this is the two-disc director's cut, though, and a bunch of special features in here. So if you are a fan of the film, I would highly recommend it. Uh, next up, I'm just going to show you this: uh, the code right here, discount code. Join the pack for three dollars off, right there. So there it is. You get uh, four DVDs or four Blu-rays in each box. I know before I got it in, there was a Steelbook in there for Shaun of the Dead, which was amazing. I know in the past they had a, that was for the Blu-ray, and then for the past they had a DVD Steelbook for Dead Snow, which I got a long time ago when it first came out. I loved that edition. It was one of my favorite Steelbooks. This was before Blu-ray, I think, even came out, or maybe just in the beginning, the infancy of Blu-ray. So I didn't switch over yet at that point. Uh, next up is Reanimator. Of course, now you know that I have a good amount of Blu-rays, so I've made that jump a long time ago. Uh, but this I never picked up on Blu-ray. I don't know why I just held off on it. I do have the cool uh, box set edition for the DVD with the little highlighter pen. Um, so I'm actually souped to get this on Blu-ray. Absolutely love it. A ton of special features on there, so very cool. And uh, that's a, this is a classic. I actually have the Reanimator t-shirt, which I've shown before uh, recently. I, should, I wish I would have uh, realized this was in here. I would have put the shirt on for it, but... Uh, classic right there. Uh, one of my favorite Stuart Gordon's. My favorite Stuart Gordon's probably um, From Beyond. That's probably number one for me, but this is probably number two. Very close number two. Next up is Motivational Growth. Now this is one I haven't seen before. Actually, Jeffrey Combs. Uh, I guess he does the voice in here of the mold. And of course he's in Reanimator. Um, but this one is one I've been wanting to see for a while. I saw the trailer for it, looked crazy and gross out. I guess somebody, uh, this guy who tries to kill himself, um, I guess he supposedly lives, I don't know yet, maybe that might be a twist in here, but there's mold in his bathroom that starts talking to him. Kind of reminds me of like a uh, brain dead, or uh, brain damage, there we go. <laughs> so there's the, I guess the talking mold right there and it's telling him what to do and stuff, so. That looks interesting. This is one I wanted to see for a while, so I'm happy about that. So two right there that I'm super interested in. And the last one, I remember seeing this, Scar. Uh, this is Scar 3D. I didn't see it in 3D. It comes with uh, 3D glasses in there. This has uh, Angela Bettis from May, which is a fantastic movie that deserves a Blu-ray release. Somebody should get on that. And also has the comedian Christopher Titus. Uh, when I initially saw this, um, I, I was going to see a show of his, stand-up uh, comedian, of course, uh, I go to my local comedy club all the time, so I was going to one of his uh, stand-up shows, and I was like, oh, I didn't know he was in a horror movie. Let me check it out, see if it's worth picking up and getting signed. Um, I remember it being just about average to me. Um, it was kind of like a murder. There was like a murder that happened, and then I guess uh, somebody was kind of doing the similar things, kind of copycat serial killer kind of thing going on. They're trying to figure out who it is in a small town, and I believe Christopher Tice was like the sheriff or a police officer, and they're trying to figure out who's doing the killing. Um, like I said, I remember it being just about average, nothing necessarily special. Um, so there you go. But Christopher Titus, I think, is actually a really good actor, Angela Bettis as well. So I think he should be in more movies. I thought he was great in that role uh, as the 
the cop too. So I think you can do more like that. Next up are the DVD for DVDs. Uh, first up is Devil May Call with uh, Corey English from Holliston, who is stunning. Uh, I've seen this movie, and uh, Tyler Mayne in here is the crazy killer guy. And Tracy Lors in here. To me, I think Tracy Lors is a fantastic uh, actress. She was excellent in uh, Excision, which is kind of like a psychosexual horror movie with black comedy elements. She was fantastic in that as well. Excision, highly recommend that one. Uh, but this one right here is basically the lead actress, Corey English. She plays uh, a blind woman who's helping people with like a suicide hotline. She's, uh, you know, taking the calls and helping the people through it. And uh, this guy, uh, Tyler Maine, is basically a serial killer and he's, you know, crazy. And so he calls and it's kind of obsessed over her and she's getting ready to leave and move on. And he says, you can't leave me. And he starts, you know, going there to the office building, tracks it down and... You know, they, the rest of the people have to fight to survive against them. And he's a hawking giant, but he kind of looks like a homeless man in this one. I don't know. I was, I wish they would have given him a little... I mean, maybe that's part of the aspect that he can be like an everyday, normal kind of guy. Kind of look to him. Just anybody you see on the street except he's really tall and big. Um, but besides that, he looked... I don't know. Looks like a, just a, a tall guy who's picking up his kids from soccer practice. I don't know. <laughs> uh, IT guy just happens to be really tall. I don't know. But yeah. It, this was decent. Um, I think they could have ramped up some of the thrills a little bit. I like the ending a lot. And again, Corey English is stunning. She deserves to be in way more movies. So it was decent. Uh, next up is Tremors, all-time classic. This is just an amazing film. Um, the sequels, the second sequel, the second one was all right. And then after that, they were just unwatchable again. Uh, the latest one with Jamie Kennedy, just pure garbage. Unwatchable, trash throw in the garbage. I never saw the TV series though, um, but I think they're making another one too, another movie. So um, this one though right here is an all-time classic. Highly recommend the heck out of this one. A fantastic cast right here. Kevin Bacon, Fred Ward, uh, Michael Gross, Reba McIntyre, just everybody. Cast chemistry was excellent and I love the creatures in here. Um, I wish Blood Beach would get an official release. That's one that I always like to kind of always remind me of that coming up from the sand and stuff like that, but classic right there. And uh, next up is Orlock the Vampire uh, 3D. This is, um, I guess, Nosferatu in 3D. I guess maybe they couldn't use it for legal reasons. I believe it's public domain. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, so this is kind of interesting. I, I didn't know there was a 3D version of this. And it has an introduction by Lloyd Kaufman. Why? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so uh, it's F.W. Uh, Murnau's 1922. Nosferatu in 3D. So that's interesting. I'll give that a watch. I have mixed feelings about it being in 3D, but it's a classic film. I remember, I think it was either last Halloween or two Halloweens ago, there was a church um, in New Brunswick, New Jersey, where Rutgers University is, uh, that actually was playing Nosferatu. I thought that was super surprising that a church would do that. Um, I think it's kind of cool, cutting edge bringing in people that, you know, you could still be religious and still enjoy horror movies. I think there's always been kind of a disconnect there, uh, which is a shame, but I thought that was really cool. I didn't end up going to it. I wanted to go so bad, but I think I ended up having different plans, but I love that concept. I hope they do that again, because I think that would be cool. A really neat setting, too. It was an older church, uh, a lot of history, so I just think that was super cool that they did that. Next up, last but not least, this might be Probably my favorite movie out of the bunch, maybe. Um, this is Thirst. This, I've been meaning to do a top 10 underrated horror movies, top 20, all that. But this one was going to be on the list for top 10. Love the heck out of this movie. Uh, directed by Chan Wook Park, uh, from director of Old Boy, of course. And this one is a vampire movie. I never hear anybody talk about this one. Um, I remember picking this up probably like, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago, maybe. I don't even know how long ago, but it was a while ago. And it's just crazy to me that I never hear anybody talk about it. It's a Korean film. Um, again, it's basically about this priest who becomes a vampire accidentally, I believe, through a blood transfusion. And he's kind of, you know, dealing with the morality aspect. Um, I just thought it was beautifully shot, great cinematography, kind of a washed out look that really reflected the bleak tone of the film. Uh, just a fantastic, highly recommend this one, um, if, especially if you're into Asian horror. And uh, it has a great dramatic effect to it as well. I love this film. Um, there's a romance aspect to it, which again also plays in the morality aspect. But fantastic vampire movie, super underrated horror movie. Love the heck out of this movie. Highly recommend it. 
Uh, some great films in here overall, some ones that I don't have and I've been wanting to see, so very pleased overall. Horror pack, I love your concept. Uh, my only criticism is I would say put more things like this into your little boxes right there. Uh, you know, kind of drive home the advertising aspect to it. So when you see it, maybe put a little, a little pamphlet in there, put like, I don't know, just different things that could be coming up in the future for the next month and stuff like that. So if somebody's buying a one month subscription, they might be hooked to check out the next one if you kind of tease them on what's going to be in the next box, give them little hints and clues. So that would be my only thing, just put more promotion in your boxes. Besides that, I love the concept. Uh, it's a great value as well. I'll put a link down below to their site with all the price plans and stuff like that. Um, again, love the heck out of the concept. If you're a horror fan, definitely check out Horror Pack. I'm souped. I got some movies that I've been uh, wanting to add to my collection. Love it. And definitely check out Thirst. Uh, Reanimator, of course, is a classic. Uh, Tremors is a classic. I'm uh, looking forward to checking out Motivational Growth a lot. Uh, that's one I've been wanting to see. And I'm kind of curious about uh, uh, the Nosferatu in 3D or Orlock the Vampire. It's public domain, but maybe they uh, copyrighted the 3D aspect. Maybe that's why the, the change of the name, because uh, it's Count Orlock. But yeah, I'm trying to find out what, uh, what company is this that put this out. Does it say qualitycheeseproductions.com? All right, I've never heard of that before, but... Uh, Cheesy Flicks is one that puts out a lot of good movies uh, for budget prices, too. Uh, but there you go. Horror Pack. Awesome. If you're a horror fan, check them out. Link will be down below. Let me know if you guys have seen these movies and what you think of them as well. And I will be putting up my top 10 underrated horror movies of all time videos soon in top 20. Thirst, there's a little hint right there. It's going to be on the list. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, uh, let me know if you've seen the movies, what you think of them, and what was your favorite movie from this lot right here, from the four Blu-rays and DVDs. Leave me a comment down below. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care.